your operations are the heartbeat to your business. I created this podcast to help you balance your childlike innovation with parent-like efficiency. Welcome to Daily Ops Boost. What happens when you only rely on referrals as a lead gen source within your agency? And we'll be uncovering that today. But guys, welcome back to another Daily Ops Boost, episode 31. We are freaking flying through it, baby. Uh, Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you guys. If you wouldn't mind, quickly leave a review. Takes 30 seconds at most, okay? Uh, Would appreciate you guys if you left a review on the podcast. Helps us reach a few more people. So with the referral side of of the business, don't get me wrong. Like I love referrals. Referrals are my favorite lead gen source at the end of the day. means a couple different things. One, you're running the business the correct way, right? You're you're doing great for your clients. You're delivering the results that you said that you would deliver. And so people are sending other people to you, right? And this is the importance of, you know, before you really scale up, before you really hit traction uh, and, and hit a scale phase within your business, your mindset really needs to be, I need to deliver the best results possible for my clients and they need to win. If they don't win, It's going to be really hard to grow in scale because we see it all the time with agencies, uh, consulting businesses. Uh, They will really crank on their legion. They'll run paid ads. They'll have a really awesome offer, a a great, unique selling proposition, right? They've done everything right. They've checked all the boxes on signing clients, but they can't deliver the result that they promised, right? Which is detrimental to a business because uh, essentially you're just trying to outsell your churn at that point, right? So referrals are a great, a great uh, indicator of the business that you're running and the success that your, your business will have. If you get a lot of referrals, and in, in, in my uh, the agency that I first started, that was a, the primary source of, of uh, our leads. We didn't run outbound. We didn't run really any other type of lead gen uh, outside of just referrals. And then we had some great affiliates as well, but that's like fancy referrals pretty much right Uh, we're paying someone to bring us people um to to enter into uh, our agency services so with that being said like you have to have referrals uh in order for i think a business to really succeed and thrive because it means that you're doing a good job it means that you're winning for your clients and if you're not winning for your clients well that should be the main focus not getting more sales through the door you shouldn't scale up unless you can deliver the the results that you say you can right now referrals are a little bit slower growth tactic um until it's not right like like it can have a great snowball effect of you pick up referrals really quickly but it is kind of a feast and famine type cycle right you'll have some months where you get a lot of referrals and and it's like hey we're eating this month Uh, and then you'll have other months that that are a little bit less um a little bit less when it comes to to the leads that come through the door and i don't think that's wrong or incorrect by any means i think you can build a great business off the back of referral that's how we built a couple of our businesses uh but it is a slower burn right And, and it does take a little bit a little bit more time now if you don't want to go through those feast and famine cycles then at the end of the day, you have to run other lead gen opportunities, right? Whether that is outbound, uh, and you know we run outbound for our consultancy now. I wish I would have run it for our agency uh, too, because we probably would have grown a lot faster. Uh, but on LinkedIn and email, and so like outbound has has a really great opportunity. And if you guys have listened to to Hermosi uh, at all, or went to his book launch. Uh, uh, a week back, or by the time this episode releases, probably a couple weeks back by now. Um, but if you went to his book launch, he uh, he talked about all the different lead gen sources that they utilize uh, for their business. And it's like I think it's like upwards of seven, right? And so with us, like we do something very similar. We just cast a very wide net, right? And that that's the way that I like to think about it. Is like, hey, I'm going to cast the widest net possible, and when I cast the widest net possible, I'm going to be able to attract a lot more clients into my door and have more sales conversations. And that's the whole point. Like I just need to get my foot in the door. Uh, I remember one of my mentors uh, at back when I was in the fitness world, he used to tell me like, Hey, we just got to get them in the door, right? If we can get them in the door, they're going to, they're going to buy our training packages. They're going to buy a membership to our gym, right? That's how it's, that's how it works. So you just need to have that conversation because a lot of you guys have a great service. A lot of you guys have a great unique selling proposition and do really great work for your clients. And so you need to just provide more opportunities. You need to provide more feet in the door to allow you to actually sell the great service that you have. And so for us, like, you know, if we break down 
all the lead gen opportunities that we have. We have referrals, we have affiliates, we have um, uh, outbound uh, in multiple channels, LinkedIn and email. We have uh, organic content. We, we, we land clients from organic content pretty regularly now, whether that's through the podcast, whether that's through uh, going on someone else's podcast, YouTube videos, uh, Instagram reels and, and, and TikTok um, TikToks, right? So there's a lot of content that goes out as well. Um, we utilize, I'm trying to think of what other sources we utilize. Uh, uh, there's paid ads as well. So we utilize a lot of paid acquisition. So there's a lot of sources that we are tapping into leads because we just need the opportunity. We just need the foot in the door. We need the opportunity to have a conversation about our service because we know it's great and we know we do a good job. We know we deliver the results for our clients. And if we can just get the opportunity, if we can just get a foot in the door, chances are we can land a client. Now, that's the problem with relying on referrals is that it's very feast and famine, right? We don't always get opportunities every single month from referrals, right? Now, as you get the snowball rolling, yeah, you might get you might get referrals every single month. But if you're wanting to scale a little bit faster, and if you're wanting to go at things a little bit quicker, then you need to expand outside of just referrals because all you need is the opportunity. And if you get the opportunity, if you get the foot in the door, you have a great opportunity to turn that person into a client and actually change their business for the better. And that's the way that I, I like to think about it when we're running all of our marketing campaigns and we're bringing in all of these leads is that their best chance is here with us than anywhere else, right? So I'm going to run as much as I possibly can. I'm going to get as many opportunities to talk to prospects as I possibly can. And so we have the highest opportunity of actually closing down a deal. And that's pretty much it. That That's our methodology. That's the ethos behind the lead generation for us is cast a wide net. If you ca cast a wide net, you're going to catch something eventually. So that's all I got for you guys today. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yo, thank you so much for listening in to Daily Ops Boost. We really appreciate your attention. If you're enjoying the shorter form content, you're going to absolutely love the long form content that we post over on YouTube. We do a live stream every single week, 7 p.m. Central Time. Go check it out. It's on YouTube. It's called Agency Therapy. We'll see you over there.